It's your boy, Nerdy White Guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. I'll put you in a motherfucking coffin, my guy. He's so dope. Nerdy white guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. My prayers got answered, dude. <laughs> this, this white dude. Nerdy white guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. We're gonna get this shit started, though. Nerdy gang. What's going down, everybody? Today, we are gonna discuss this Super Bowl that's about to go down, right? Now this is gonna be a crazy battle. Kansas City, high flying, crazy ass offense, man. They could score at any point on the field, any point in the game, dude. Now we got San Francisco, a little bit different. They like to run the ball. They like to get most certain Coleman going. They like to let Jimmy G pick the pick the plays at the line, you know, and maybe dink over those linebackers. You know what I'm talking about? While Patrick Mahomes is dinking over the entire fucking field, <laughs> we got Jimmy G just reading the field and having to make decisions whether to run it or just sneak it in right behind those linebackers. They've been doing that all year long with Samuel. Number 19. Boy is a beast. Moser, we cannot forget about him. He had like 240 yards and four touchdowns. In the fucking dude in the NFC Championship game against Creek. Dude, they could not stop that boy. And one of the main reasons is because they got Kittle. Now, when you're dealing with Kittle, you, dude, there's a conundrum. If you bring in a corner to guard him for the pass game, he blows that corner right off the fucking line, dude. He just blows him off. You know, like. They, dude, a corner is not going to hold up against him in the run game. He's just going to... Dude, you see the videos? He's fucking panicking, guys, right? And then, so, okay, so you want to bring up a linebacker, but he's faster than all the linebackers. He just does a quick out on a... On what, what was that, like a fourth and four? And ends up running through, like, 15 dudes, gets face masks, and, bro, just kills it. He's bringing that mentality. With the Kansas City Chiefs, bro, they got Mahomes. That's enough said. He was last year's MVP. The boy is absolutely incredible. He doesn't throw that many picks. He's got Tyreek Hill, the super burner on the outside. He's got Harden, the other burner on the outside. He's got Kelsey, the great tight end, who can kind of go behind the linebackers and do all that stuff too. He's not as much of a conundrum as Kittle is, though. Now, when we flip it over to the defenses on each side, now we cannot forget, let's kind of backtrack a little bit, we cannot forget the great offensive minds that we have right now. We got Shanahan and Reed going at it. Now, you know Shanahan, he's been talking to his pops about, hey, how, how, how are we going to do this, and how can I make what your game plan is, pops, a little bit better with all these motions and shit that we're doing. Now, let's flip it over to the defensive side. San Francisco's defense is the better defense in this situation. But, but, Kansas City has the better offense in this situation. And if the, the history has told us anything, defense, the better defense usually wins these games. So, like, if you have, like, a number one defense versus the number one offense, the defense, I want to say, wins the game, like, 70 or 80% of the time. San Francisco has a great defense with Bosa, Sherman, Ford, great linebacking core. You know, they, they got a couple of great safeties back there. Kansas City, I don't know too much about their defense. I know that they have picked it up ever since. Like, they said that they were going to stop the run against the Titans, and they did that against King Henry. Now, that's one of my biggest issues with the Kansas City Chiefs was their run defense. But they showed that they can stop the run, and they showed that last week or two weeks ago. And, dude, that is the thing that's making my prediction super puzzling is because I don't know what Kansas City defense we're going to get when it comes to the run game. If they show up and they can stop the run game, I think that, that it will be very hard for Jimmy G to keep up with Mahomes. But, dude, if Kansas City cannot stop that run game, San Francisco has the best opportunity to win this game and win it, you know, fairly decisively. You know, I'm not saying it's gonna it would be a blowout or anything, but I'm saying, you know, it might end up being a four to seven point game, but it wasn't as close as people thought it would be. 
So with my prediction, as I kind of go through everything, man, I'm just rattling everything off in my head. You know, you got to mention, you got to mention Kittle, you got to mention Kelsey, you got to mention the the speedsters on the outside, Emmanuel Sanders, uh, Samuel. I gotta forget his first name, dude. But this game is about to be crazy. But my prediction, my dude, I think San Francisco is going to win. I think their defense is good enough to at least slow down Patrick Mahomes enough to where San Francisco can score enough points to win. I don't think that Kansas City is going to have the greatest game, especially if they end up getting started like they have the last two playoff games. And they've had the benefit of being at home in the last two playoff games. This is a different environment. This is a Super Bowl. You know, there's not just Kansas City Chief fans there. There's not just uh, San Francisco fans there. It's going to be a mix of all fans. A lot of media, a lot of stuff going on. And then they're going to have to wait fucking an hour between halftime, 10-minute commercial break. It's just different. And I think that's going to slow down this fucking really high-flying, high-powered offense. I think the defense can do enough. I think that they don't have the crowd on their side right now. So, yeah, dude, we're going with San Francisco, 31-27. Mark it down. If I am right, say that I'm right. If I'm wrong, come back and give me some shit, man. I do not mind. You know, I've been thinking about doing, uh, you know, some NFL stuff during the NFL season. So, dude, this is a good start. Super Bowl, then we can prepare for next year to start doing other, you know, sports-related shit around here, not just reactions. So, I hope you all enjoyed that shit. If you guys did, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, like, comment, share. All that shit matters. Nerdy gang, as always, love you guys. Thank you for sticking around. And I hope you guys enjoy this. It's a little different, but hey, what are you going to do? Let's get it, y'all.